Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Friday Night Young at Heart, featuring nursery rhymes, stories, songs, poems, Mother Goose, Aesop's fables, Lewis Carroll, limericks, larks, epic stories of the great operas, and such. To keep us all young at heart, I'm Father James DeLucio. Tonight, I thought I would begin an adventure with you, taking us on a journey that will probably take us all through the summer and with a couple weeks off here and there. But I was inspired by seeing a new version of Pinocchio that's on Netflix, if you happen to get Netflix, by Guillermo del Torno. It's really so well done. It's stop-and-go animation, a very fascinating look and style to the piece. And, of course, he just, like Disney did in his own way, um, he takes certain episodes and then shapes it into the story that he wants to tell. But I've always been thinking about what's this original Italian classic? What's it like? What, what's going on? What's the point of view? What's the style? So I picked up a copy of Collodi's original, The Adventures of Pinocchio. This one is a, a bilingual edition, but I won't try, I even attempt to read the Italian with you. Uh, but it's a translation by Nicholas J. Parella. Now, because it's copyright, copyright, copyrighted, <laughs> um, I can't read it word for word, but I will kind of paraphrase so we'll get the sense of each of the particular adventures and a little bit of the point of view of each chapter for chapter. Um, I won't even read, well, I might give you the first chapter. We'll see how long it takes. I'm already two minutes into this video, and I have friends who don't like things too long, so let's give it a try, shall we? Um, Claudie has a uh, great sense of humor and a little tongue and cheek with this, so beware. But right away we get a sense of the uh, the, sa the state of his humor when he starts 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 <laughs> when he starts with "Once upon a time there was a king." No, my little friends and readers, no. Not a king. A piece of wood. And it was just a very ordinary piece of wood. A kind of piece of wood that you would just put in your fireplace to warm you and let it burn in the hearth. Well, at any rate, uh, it belonged to this um, carpenter named Master Anthony. But everybody called him Master Cherry because his nose was red and plump and purplish, like a cherry. What do you think that is implying, my friends? Hmm. So, as he goes to chop the wood into smaller pieces, because he thought, well, actually, he wanted to shave the outer part of the wood, because it had bark, and he thought, oh, I'll make a table leg. But as he goes to strike with his axe to get it, the first strike, he hears a voice. Don't hit me too hard. He's shocked. He's stunned. There's no one, there's no one, no one in the shop with him. And so he thinks, oh, it's his imagination. And then when he goes for the second blow, he hears the voice again. And this time, the voice says, ouch, you hurt me once he's already made that first blow. And now he thinks, this is crazy. What's going on? And then he became very, very fearful. What, who, what is this? This sound seems to be coming from this log. Hey. And then he took the piece of wood into his hands and he started to slam it mercilessly. That is direct quote from the translation. All around the room, bang, 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 bang. As if, if he thought it was in his mind, this was going to help? I don't know. And then he hears it again, saying, ouch, let's get back to work. Well, so he continues to take out the, the outer bark, 
And then he hears things like, stop, you're tickling my belly and such. Oh my goodness. And then poor Master Cherry fell down as if he'd been struck by lightning. And he was just blue with fright. That is my summary from chapter one, the very beginning of Carlo Collodi and the original Pinocchio. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next week. Uh, for those who do follow uh, Luke Live online, I'm, my apologies. Tuesday came and went and um, I forgot it was Tuesday. And then I remembered it was Thursday and I thought, ah, I'll just do Young at Heart and let you in on my senior moment this week. Have a good weekend, everybody. God bless.